What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are somewhere over near Annapolis. I, I have no idea where I am. Thank God I have GPS. But my buddy Moto Mango wanted to hear a story. So I am going to tell you all a story. And you could probably guess from the thumbnail, it's a story with no brakes. <laughs> Not on a bike, but in a car. So back when I was 18, I was pledging a fraternity at College Park, uh, University of Maryland College Park in College Park, Maryland. How apropos. So I was going to a college party. Everybody stop. Thank you. I was going to go to a college party, but my brake uh, master cylinder had started leaking on my 87 Ford Mustang. It was a four banger automatic drop top leather interior heaviest slowest mustang they ever made but i love that car it was a gift from my mom and i drove it everywhere i put 50,000 miles on it in two years as a college student okay wow but the master cylinder started leaking so my dad being a shade tree mechanic ordered a new master cylinder and that was in and of itself a huge ordeal to get to the brake booster which we had to disconnect. We had to take the front driver's seat out. See, here I am upside down in this thing, trying to get parts in and out of it. But that didn't fix the problem because one of the lines was cracked. One of the steel lines was cracked going to the brake booster. So it was really a wild thing. So we had to replace the booster because we found out that was bad. Look at that water, isn't that pretty? Motorcycle, hey, hey. whoa, bumpy. So here we are, we've replaced the master cylinder, we got a new brake booster, but the line is cracked and it won't hold pressure. So what I did was, rather than take my 66 Plymouth Fury 3 all the way to College Park, which was like 30 miles, I decided I was gonna take the Mustang. So I did. <laughs> and I started out, I put the top down, cause you know, when you're in college, you gotta impress everybody, right? At least that's what I thought. So I put the top down on the Mustang and in the driveway, I gave it a couple of test squeezes on the old brake pedal there. Wee corner, this is awesome. I love this road. I'm gonna have to remember what this was. I think it's 179, St. Margaret's Road. Look at that. Yep, 179. But uh, here I am in the driveway. I realized that I have the slightest brake pressure when I fully depress the brake pedal. I made that son of a sad. So with this now despondent brake pedal, it will stop the car, but it is not easy and it's kind of harrowing. But you know, your old buddy John's kind of an idiot and kind of a goofball, so I did it. Wow, this is interesting. These roads are really cool out here. I gotta ride these more often. Let's see, do we have, yeah, they all have stop signs, okay. We're gonna go up this hill and snake around. This sounds like a whole lot of fun. So I drove, I went to the frat party, and every time I saw a green light, I started furiously pumping the brake pedal because every time I really just mashed that brake pedal, I got like five miles an hour of slowdown. Oh my God, it was nerve wracking, but I made it there in one piece and I ended up spending the night there and I drove home the next day again with no brakes because that's how your old buddy John rolls one way. All right, I sort of knew that. We're on a service street. So just a quick story today. I made it there and back safely, obviously, because I'm still here to record this. But the, the wonders of our youth, when we think we know everything and we're invincible and nobody can convince us otherwise. And in my case, I could not be convinced otherwise. So we need to go that way. Ooh, there's a cut through. Nice. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you did, boop the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Ride safe, drive safe, make sure you have brakes. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Ooh, can I make the U-turn? I bet I can. Look at that. Slow and steady, steady and slow. That's the way we always go. Bye.